Hi, I'm Helen Thompson. Today I'm with Derek from Midco. So tell me a little bit about your journey with ArcGIS. How did you get here? Midcontinent started doing fiber optic cable in ArcGIS back in 2008. From that, they kind of started to see the more of the value on the marketing side and the sales side with it. We've kind of evolved and now we actually track not only our fiber optic cable data, but our coax data as well. This year, you got a SAG award. You know, congratulations for that. Thank you. Tell me more about the work you did for that SAG award. Probably one of the primary projects that we had was our conversion from the kind of our remaining AutoCAD records into our now SDE multi-version environment. With that, we've been able to implement ArcGIS server and portal kind of along the way. At the end of the day, it allows us to not only be more efficient with our internal processes, but also deliver a service faster to our customers than what we were able to in the past. So when you talk about throughout the organization, in the field, in your enterprise system, center of excellence, Yes, all those. So our, with our field grooves, they're able to now go into ArcGIS portal, for example, and from any device, anytime, anywhere, they can pull up an ArcGIS portal application and, and see where our infrastructure is at or maybe do some, some kind of quick analysis to, to kind of solve a problem. Internally, we are integrating with our billing system and with, with our customer service reps now have access to our maps. So if a, if a potential customer comes in, calls in, they can then look them up on that map and see if this is feasible for us to serve or if they're far outside of our footprint. It is all about your customers and it's about getting them their service when they want it and being very reliable once they have it as well. Reliability in ArcGIS, this is a mission critical system I would assume. It's becoming more and more mission critical. Uh, we do expect it to be up 24 seven and when there's a fiber cut in the middle of the night, our, our technicians and our engineers need to have that information at their fingertips right then and there. So you've got this ability to reach out beyond what you're currently doing, you've got a vision for that? Yes, where we see ourselves going is, and we've already done this to a degree, is using things like operations dashboard to track different projects. So all of our capital construction projects are, are actually ran in an in-house, kind of a homegrown software system where all that information is tracked. But we also have a web app that tracks the status on all those along with some other key attributes that's getting updated in real time. So as, as our field might be actually updating one application over here, the web app and web map are being updated right at the same time and no one's having to duplicate entry data anymore. Where else is it critical? We use it for a number of things. One great example is whenever we go to maybe doing a large scale build of a new community, we've got web apps out there that are editable for our field users that track by node and by power supply exactly what the status is on each, on, on each one of those. So not only does that allow us in real time as they update that to, for everyone at the organization to see that, we're also taking those and giving those to our marketing teams and they're outputting those for all of our customers to see as well so they know when their area has launched and they can, they can see and use our services. And with that, you've got data that's changing all the time. What about real time? We've got a number of applications out there that are, are looking at different things in real time. One of the things that we're doing right now is we've integrated with our billing system, which is allowing us now to if an address is on that within our GIS database, it'll also be in our billing system and vice versa. What's key about that for us is that that really drives some of our processes internally and really saves us a lot of time on investigating whether or not an address actually is serviceable. And so that way when that customer calls in, they're not waiting, we're not spending extra resources out in the field to go check on it, and it's really just a better experience for the customer and, and more efficient for us internally.